Hey guys, it's Kip from Famous by Friday Pickleball. Got a very exciting review here. It's the new Diadem Vice. This paddle is not USAPA approved. This paddle will never be USAPA approved. Diadem's not even gonna try. It is so different. It is an experimental paddle in what Diadem believes is the future technology of pickleball paddles and how it will progress. Yes, it has multiple holes, and I hope you can see those in the surface of the paddle. We've seen holes in the paddle before. Selkirk's done it in the throat. One shot has done it along the edges. This is in actually in the playing surface. Although they're so small, it really shouldn't affect the flight of the ball. But that's totally different. The core is very different. It's an EVA foam core, and you can actually feel it it's kind of spongy almost. But we're used to polypropylene cores. Uh, there's some other cores out there, but we no one's done, to my knowledge, an EVA foam core. Very excited to see how the ball comes off of that. It does have a carbon fiber face. We see that a lot. It's got a grit coating, a painting. It's RP2 grit coating, so Diadem believes that that will last longer than the, than the grit coatings we see now. It does have a core molding system that makes this a one piece kind of edgeless look and feel and also uh, this when you hit it against the concrete it's not supposed to damage it at all so very excited to get out and hit this paddle uh, the, the just the specs on it are pretty much normal it's an eight ounce paddle it's 16.4 by 7.4 16 millimeters thick evenly balanced those that all those fall just into a normal category but the foam core is what is so much different from what we're used to i'm headed out to the court right now i hope you are too i hope you get to hit this i i have no idea what to expect just anxious to get out there it's gonna be a lot of fun i have a feeling a lot of people are going to want to grab this and see what it does so headed out there now hope you are too and i'll be back
Hey guys, just spent the last couple of days playing with the new Diadem Vice. I had no idea what to expect. I mean, it's, you know, all the just specifications are, are, are what we normally see. Eight ounces, 16.4 by 7.4, 16 millimeter thick. You know, it's evenly balanced. All these things we've seen before, the carbon fiber face, the grit coating. We've seen edgeless. We, we've seen all of this. And I, so it made me wonder why Diadem is not even gonna try and get this USAPA approved. What is so different? Yes, we've seen holes in the face, but these are these little tiny holes all across here gonna make that much difference? Could you just take away some of these holes or you know, or get rid of them all together? What makes the difference? Well, there, there's a huge difference and here's what it is. It's this EVA foam core. The ball explodes off of here. Not only shoots off, it explodes. The ball just jumps. If, the, if your opponent hits the ball hard, it hits the surface and just flies and it takes off. Our serving speeds with this, and we weren't trying to jump on any of it, were instantly six to seven miles an hour faster than what we normally would serve. Keeping them in was a bit of a challenge, but it, the ball just explodes off of here. This foam core, and you can feel, you can kind of squeeze it and kind of feel it, it kind of compresses a little bit. I don't know if this foam core would ever be allowed. I am really interested. I, I, so it reminds me of um, aluminum bats in baseball. Those became dangerous. Somebody was going to get hurt. So they tried to deaden them a little bit and then just eventually kind of went back to wood. That's this paddle. The ball comes off of here so fast. A goggles will become a thing. The ball just shoots off here so fast and it, it's really tough to control because the ball just shoots off. An example, when you're playing singles, you're thinking, oh, this would be a great singles paddle because you're really going to keep the other person back. The ball goes so fast. About the third ball you hit, we, we discover about the third ball, maybe sometimes fourth, it's going to go out because the ball's just going to fly off of here and go way long. Not just a little long, way long. But fun to hit. Oh my gosh. Dinking's a breeze with this, and I don't know really why dinking is, but I mean, you, your footwork, your form, it doesn't even have to be perfect as long as you get this paddle in front of it and you can hit it anywhere on this face and it's the same result. It's just going to shoot back. This paddle, the, the one word that kept coming to mind as I hit this paddle is, this is cheating. It's, it's cheating. It's that different, that good. It's just so different. It just, it surprised me how different it was. Really exciting technology, really different. I, I would love to hear from anybody that's tried this paddle, what their results were, how you felt hitting it. And, you know, if you think the future of pickleball is going to go to this kind of, maybe not, maybe not even the foam core, but do you think it's going to get even faster? That the technology is going to allow the ball to even go faster. It's kind of a kind of a scary thought in a way. So I'd love to hear from you guys. Please hit like. Please hit subscribe. I'm going to be back with more content. The Diadem Vice Paddle. It's pretty. It's crazy. Just crazy. All right, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Let me know. Little inconsistent.